running in the wrong ground, didn't you? Yeah. Um, so they've got three new beers on at my local Weatherspoons. Sorry about any wind or anything. Um, so yeah, I just had a little walk along the pier. It's pretty nice, as you've probably just seen by some of the video. A few showers around, out to sea, but yeah. Don't care, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, they've got three beers on. Um, one from Bath Ales, is it Bath White Rabbit? Um, is it, uh, oh, I can't remember the names of them, but I'll show you them in a minute. I've just looked at the app as well, just completely forgotten. Um, oh, Maxima something or other, Olicana, and there's a stout one that I was really looking forward to trying out of the, the 30 list, so. Um, Exmoor Stout, is that it? Oxmoor, I don't know, something like that. Anyway, I'll show you in a minute, I'm going to go in a different way, so. So, yeah. Go in a different way. There's a few people on the beach, so, uh, Try not to get them in it. Pied wagtail. So the seaward entrance. Free coffee refills. Right, let's go and have a look. Welcome to another beer review then. So first one, as I've said just a minute ago, um, Bath White Rabbit 3.6% ABV. Um, so yeah, Bath Ales, um, established in 1995 in Somerset. So it uh, looks like a gold nail type thing. I'm not, not entirely sure of the style. I didn't check on Untap, but it's saying um, this is a new... New coloured IPA has hoppy and zesty flavours, bursting with grape. Well, I didn't really want to read all that, but um, 3.6 it looks it, doesn't it? So, straw colour, not much of a white head there. A third now, I've got my mic charged up. So, so if you're wondering where the first one was in London, it's because halfway through the review, the mic cut out and then there was no sound. So, so I have to review that one again. Anywho, um, let's get a nose on this then. As it says, quite zesty, with a slight kind of citrusy notes, quite light, as you'd expect. They're quite floral, quite approachable on the nose, so let's give it a try. Cheers. And it's got Harlequin and Target hops in this one, so it's actually got quite a nice zest, zing to it, um, which is good. Um, so quite... You know, low medium body, you know, 3.6, it's, it's going to be on that kind of level really. But for drinkability, yeah. It's got quite a nice zestiness to it. It reminds me in some ways of um, Oakum Citra to a degree. Or Dark Star. Um, oh, what's the one? I can't remember what it's called, doesn't matter. It might come to me, it might not. But yeah, even a little lace in there. Get my nose right in now. Yeah, there's a slight kind of uh, grapefruit uh, twang to it as well. So it's only third, so I've got three of these, so and that'll be it for today. But nothing crazy. I do like the way they've done that. Um, 
It's a shame a lot of uh, micro pubs don't do this sort of thing, thirds, as they've got quite a few beers on. Um, certainly, if I if I run a micro pub, I'd definitely have a chance for you to have thirds or or whatever, you know, flights for sure. But not not quite surprisingly, quite. Ugh, I can get my words out. Not a lot of local micro pubs do that. Especially if you're doing like a bit of a, a tour, if you like, um, micro pub tour, especially locally. There's, there's about 25 different micro pubs within like, I don't know, five mile, six mile radius kind, kind of thing. So you get the local bus tours around and stuff. So if, if everyone done little flights like this, thirds, it'd be, it'd be awesome. You could try loads of stuff. Anyway, what do I know? Um, back to this beer then. Hophead is the, the name of that beer I was trying to think of from Dark Star. It's very similar to that. Zesty but still light, maintaining that drinkability. Kind of slightly lingers on the palate. There's a little bit of kind of oil, uh, hop oiliness on the on the palate, which is nice. Um, but yeah, overall, yeah, quite impressed with that one. So um, next beer will be. I'm trying to remember what it was now. Um, here somewhere uh, Ma Maxima Olicana is the next beer so see you on the next one cheers <laughs>